The terrorist group behind Thursday's attack on a college campus in Kenya is vowing that there will be more violence. Wendy Gillette reports. The Somalian Islamic extremist group Al-Shabaab says there will be more attacks like the one at Garissa University College that killed 148 people. The group said in an online statement, quote, Kenyan cities will run red with blood. Kenya's president said in a nationally televised address that his administration will respond in the severest ways possible. We will do everything to defend our way of life. Police rescued a 19-year-old woman Saturday morning who survived the attack by hiding in a wardrobe and covering herself with clothes. I was scared so much. She initially refused to come out even when rescuers arrived. Another student played dead. I just uh, smeared the blood of my colleagues and I pretended to be, to be dead. They turned me around, they, they kicked me. In a Nairobi stadium, anxious relatives waited for news about their missing loved ones. We don't know whether he's alive. We don't know whether he's dead. We don't know whether he's hiding somewhere. Police paraded the bodies of the four gunmen killed on Thursday by government forces before a crowd of a couple thousand. Five people are under arrest and there's a $220,000 bounty for the man believed to be the mastermind of the attack. Wendy Gillette for CBS News. Kenya's president has declared three days of national mourning.